Hi everyone, welcome back to Lair Academy. It's Mickey, and in this lesson, we're going to be working on creating a small contact form that would allow our clients to email requests off to us from our website. As per usual, we'll be starting with the default version of Laravel 5.4, and also near the end, I'll be using a service called MailTrap to check the emails that we are sending. MailTrap is 100% free, and I suggest you give it a try. If we switch back to our application, let's actually start looking at the forms themselves. Let's load up Sublime Text and open up welcome.blade.php. You can see we've just added some bootstrap, and underneath we have a partials, which we'll take a look at, and also the form where we're collecting the information, such as the name and the message. Let's take a look at this partials messages here. You can see we have some default errors, and we also have a quick success message. If we load up our routes by going to web.php, you can see at the bottom we have our contact.store route, and it is using the contact controller and the method store. Let's take a peek at the contact controller. In here, we just have a public function store that includes some rules, and it validates our request. So the part that is not coded yet is if we fill in our name and our message and we click send, our validation is successful and we need to send the information off in an email. In Laravel 5.3, a new mailable class was introduced. In Laravel 5.4, we can easily create emails using Markdown. This is what we're going to be using in this lesson today. We have to start off by creating the mailable class itself. For this, we will use PHP Artisan Tinker the make mail command, and let's actually call this send contact. Since we're using a markdown, let's pass in the markdown flag, and with this option, we'll be able to automatically create a markdown file for us. Let's store these in emails.contact.send. So once again, our mailable class is send contact, and our markdown file is in emails.contact.send. Let's check them out in Sublime Text now. Within our resources and views, you should see that now our markdown file, which is emails contact send, has automatically been added into the system, as well as our mailable, which is app mail send contact, has also been added. If we scroll down in our mailable class, we should see a build function, and within there, we'll have a single call to the markdown function, including the view. The one thing we want to do before we try and send this is make sure our from address is set up correctly. Within config and mail, we should see a from address here, which goes into our env, and we can set this up by easily just adding this into our env file. If for some reason you don't want to use the global email address, you can easily chain the call from on this call here. So we could say from and then supply the email address where we want our email from. I'm going to remove this and just keep the global one for now. Laravel 5.4 not only supports Markdown, but it still supports HTML and plain text. We could have all three of these send by just chaining the events together. We could pass in a view, which will be the send HTML, as well as a text version, which could be send underscore text. Now, because I'm only dealing with Markdown, I'll remove these two here, just to keep things simple. For now, let's save this, and let's open up our Markdown file. We'll open up the send.blade.php and make some changes. One thing to remember, that these changes that we're making in Markdown will automatically be converted into HTML. We'll keep the body of the message, let's remove these components for now, and let's spit out some information. We'll spit out the email name, we'll make sure we use a capital, as well as the email message. And now that this is nice and clean, the one thing that we're going to have to tackle here is how to get the email name and the email message into this blade file. Well luckily, with mailables it's pretty simple. We could easily just create two public variables to hold this information. One for email name, and the other for email message. Now the only thing we need to do is fill in these public variables. We'll use our constructor for this, we'll pass in a name, and let's also pass in a message. Within our constructor we need to make sure we assign this email name to the name, and this email message to the message. 
Now remember there's multiple ways to get this information in here but we'll just keep it as is for now. So let's make sure we save everything and let's head back to the contact controller and start making it so we can send the actual message after the validation happens. So under validation we'll be using the mail facade so we'll say mail to and then we'll pass in let's just pass in our mail trap inbox so that we have the to address the next thing we want to say is send and what we want to send well we want to send our mailable class that we made here which is send contact so we'll say new send contact and in here we're going to have to pass the two variables we have the name and the message now because we have access to the request variable we could easily just tack on request input name and request input message. Let's make sure our brackets line up here and finally we want to return the user back to the previous page. So we'll just say return redirect back with and we'll say success and let's just say something like the email was sent. So we're just going to flash that to the success message. Now actually since we're here this is pretty long and we could shorten it up by using instead of the name and message just an array that we're going to pass in. So we'll say data and we'll access the name and message keys that we're going to pass through. To get this working instead of using request input we'll say request only. Make sure we pass the name and the message and that will be it. Now let's make sure we saved all our files and try this out in Chrome. We'll put our name and our message. Let's see if we run into any errors. And you can see we have our first error here. Our class mail is not found and that just means that we have to import our mail facade. So we can grab the use statement off of the documentation and just throw it in the top. And while we're here, we're also going to need to import our send contact. So let's make sure we grab the namespace. We'll say use app slash mail slash send contact. Now with everything saved, let's switch over to Chrome and try one more time. We'll add our name and our message there and click the send button. If everything is successful, we should see the email was sent. And let's use MailTrap to check our inbox. You can see we have our contact information, the body of our message, which is the name, and then the message itself. So this means that our contact widget is working properly, and we can easily put this in any part of our website. Once again, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson.